Hey guys, it's Janixa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Lights Lacquer Villain Era collection. This is their collection for fall 2023. I did purchase these myself on the Lights Lacquer website. There are six polishes to look at, so let's go ahead and get right into the swatches. All right, first up we have Frenemies, and this one is a black sheer polish with a jelly finish. So this one is a jelly, a black jelly. I like the idea of a black jelly. I don't feel like it looked that fantastic on my nails though, but the formula was easy to work with and I had no issues with the formula at all. I only did two coats because it's supposed to be sheer but i feel like if i was actually going to wear this i would probably do a third but then it might be a little bit too opaque so then you kind of wonder what's the point of wearing a jelly in three or four coats when you can just wear a regular black polish that will be completely opaque in one or two coats Next up, we've got Sorry Not Sorry, and this is a gray purple polish with a fine teal shimmer finish. Just wanted to mention really quick that currently Frenemies is sold out on the Lights Lacquer website, so hopefully they will restock that soon, but Lights Lacquer seems to take forever to restock anything, so I don't know when that'll be back, but hopefully soon, because I don't think that one is limited edition. Anyway, Sorry Not Sorry is a really nice polish. It has a really good formula. The shimmer is so beautiful and sparkly. I only did two coats on each nail and it covered beautifully. And nothing is going to be difficult to remove here because this is shimmer and not glitter. Next up we have Bite Me and this is a deep crimson polish with a shimmer finish. This one is really beautiful but it's very very similar to the polish that they released in the Book of Hexes collection. Um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but they're similar. Um, but this is very gorgeous, a very like vampire looking uh, red and the name just suits it. Um, so very beautiful, beautiful polish, op completely opaque in two coats and nothing will be difficult to remove here. Next up we have Unfortunate Souls and this is a purple polish with a fine green shimmer finish. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I got complete opacity in two coats and in case you're wondering why this name sounds familiar, it's because they had a KL polish named Unfortunate Souls. So Kathleen is reusing the name Unfortunate Souls, which means that the original Unfortunate Souls is probably not going to come back, but who knows. Um, I love this polish. It is so beautiful. Probably my favorite in the collection. Next up we have Antihero and this is a deep black green polish with a cream finish. This one has a nice formula. It's pretty much completely opaque on one coat but I always do two so I'm going to show you what it looks like in two and I don't know how I feel about this one because it's just so dark that it hardly looks green. So it just looks like you're wearing black on your nails. So it looks like they released two blacks in one collection. So I'm kind of iffy about this one. But if you're into shades like this, this one is a really good one because it has a really good formula. And last but not least, we have Boo You. Mm -hmm. A transparent milky polish with a jelly finish that glows in the dark. Best use as a topper. I am putting it over Antihero. And I am only showing you one coat, but I ended up doing two coats of this one over Antihero. And I charged it up real good against the light. And it didn't really shine all that much. It shines a lot in the bottle, but not so much on its own. I feel like glow in the dark polishes are very hit or miss and this one unfortunately is sold out on the website also and it is the only one out of the entire collection that is limited edition so it will probably not be back. There you have it guys, swatches of the Lights Lacquer Villain Era collection. What did you guys think of these? 
overall i liked all of the polishes i think that my only one that i was indifferent about was anti-hero it just it was all right to me i mean honestly i felt like it was nothing special it was pretty nice formula just that's just a personal preference also the glow in the dark polish in the bottle it glows in the dark a lot but i feel like on the nail you really have to add quite a bit of layers like i had to do three coats in order to get this to glow on my nail at all so overall not my top favorite glow in the dark polish but it's also not horrible i feel like glow in the dark polishes are just kind of finicky in general and i don't know uh I'm trying to think of a company that has released glow-in-the-dark toppers like this and that have done it well. The only one that comes to mind for me right away is Hollow Taco. They have a glow-in-the-dark topper, which I think they're going to be re-releasing at some point soon. Um, and it's a good one. So yeah, I'm thinking if you couldn't get your hands on this one, because unfortunately it is sold out on the Light Slacker website, try to grab the Hollow Taco one, which should be available in the coming weeks. Um, because yeah, that one is a good one. This collection is already available on the Light Slacker website, minus the glow in the dark uh, polish like I mentioned because that one sold out on the same day that they launched but everything else is still available so I will have it linked in the description box below for you. All right guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!